So a recent report showed that Slack has over 8 million daily active users. That's a ton of people. And if you're watching this video, odds are you're one of them. When it comes to team communication, Slack has become the go-to platform for a lot of companies. And it's so fast and easy to use that it's kind of taken the place of water cooler conversations. So stuff like company gossip or a rant about a coworker, it's happening more and more on Slack. Slack has two main methods of communication. There's channels and then there's direct messages. You might assume that your conversations that happen on direct messages are private, but that's not necessarily true. So yes, your company could be reading your private Slack messages, but could is the key word here. The first thing you need to understand is that Slack has three different plans available. There's the free plan, and then there's two paid plans. One is called Standard, and the other is called Plus. Since 2014, companies using the Plus plan have always been able to export all of the conversations that have happened on their account, including all of the direct messages. This is still the case today, but up until April 20th, 2018, when a company exported all of the transcripts, all the conversations in the Slack account, Slack automatically notified the employees, letting them know that their conversations have been exported. Today, users who are on the Plus plan can have their chats exported and never even know that it happened. At this point, you might be getting a little nervous and I don't blame you. Now there is no way to see if your company has indeed pulled transcripts and read your messages, but there is a way to see if your boss even has the ability to do so. To see this information, all you need to do is click on the link in the video description below or just open up a tab in your browser and go to slack.com slash account slash team. Then just make sure you're logged into your Slack account and on that page, you'll be able to see what type of plan your company is on. If it says plus, that means that your boss does have the ability to read those transcripts. If it says either free or standard, go ahead and pour yourself a nice drink. You, my friend, are off the hook. Now there is the possibility that down the road, Slack allows users who are on the standard plan to start exporting conversations happening within their account. So technically the most definite way to see if your boss can pull these transcripts is to click on the retentions and exports tab. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. There you will see a section called what data can my admins access? If it only lists that public data can be exported, then they're not able to read your direct messages. However, if it does list that private data is accessible, then yes, your boss does have the ability to pull transcripts of your Slack messages. Now, one thing to clarify is that your boss is not able to read your Slack conversations real time. They have to go and export it into a transcript. My question is, and if you know the answer to this, please comment below. If you have a direct message of someone and you delete one of your messages, does that still show up on the transcript as deleted or is it just gone for good? I'd like to know that. So if you know that answer, let me know in the comment section below. And before you go, I just wanna say a quick thank you for watching this video and making it this far. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy tech news, tech gadgets, anything tech, feel free to subscribe to this channel. I'll do my best to put out the best, the most entertaining videos for you techies out there. So until next time, my name is Brandon Hassler and this is Tech Audit TV.